recently I put out a few videos on other games I loved growing up. Today we are going to continue that theme and talk about a very unique game called Alpha Protocol. Alpha Protocol was a cult classic spy RPG that was released in 2010. A spy RPG, you heard that right. It was developed by Obsidian Entertainment and published by Sega. Now, the game had very mixed reviews at launch, but it has since gained a loyal following of fans who appreciate its unique blend of gameplay and storytelling. So what exactly made Alpha Protocol so unique? Well, starting out, you create your own version of Michael Thornton, the main character of the game. You choose his background, his skills, and some appearance options, very similar to games like Mass Effect. You wake up in a super secret medical bay and have to fight your way through this location to find out who, what, and where you are. Right after you're waking up, you find a PDA on a table nearby, and you're introduced to the game's dialogue system. In Alpha Protocol, you're given options to be aggressive, suave, or professional. You also get the very awkward silence or ignore option at times too. As you can expect, each option has a different outcome. For example, if during the first con conversation, if you choose aggressive, Mina, the person speaking to you over the PDA, will trigger an alarm and break the door open. Choosing suave will tell Mina to stand by and you can find your own way to break out using a fire extinguisher. And choosing professional will have Mina cause a shutdown in the security panel outside, which unlocks the door for you. Each character will even react differently depending on their likes and dislikes of you. Some characters might find it entertaining if you bring out your James Bond suave personality while others might find it annoying. Throughout the game, you get multiple other conversations like these, and each option tends to have a different outcome. On top of that, you have a reputation with most story characters too. Similar to a Telltale style game, the reputation keeps track of your interactions with characters. In this game though, reputation gives you a bonus effect or perk in a way. Being friends with Mina, for example, will give you plus 15 to your endurance stat, while being hated by Mina will give you a a minus 10% cooldown on all abilities. Now, I, I know, I know, you might be saying, okay, cool, so it has a dialogue system, what's special about that? Well, honestly, it's just the entire setting of the game. I never would have expected a spy thriller with an RPG dialogue system or reputation system. I grew up loving the Splinter Cell games. I've always felt like we needed more espionage games. Don't get me wrong, Alpha Protocol's combat is nothing like a Splinter Cell game. And honestly, the combat that especially the aim reticle is probably one of the weakest areas, but I still think it's a ton of fun to have even with its jankiness. Speaking of the combat, there's a number of guns you can unlock, buy, upgrade, modify, special gadgets to use, and you get a variety of skills too. Most abilities are free to use while in combat, but then they just had a, a cooldown associated with it. And you could even unlock new skills and stats by certain dialogue options you choose. Want to hang up on people during the conversation two or more times? Here's some XP for you. You're able to romance all the fem female characters. Here is five more ability points and a new perk called Ladies Man. Pretty much any choice that you make in the game has a chance to give you new points or a potential perk. Alpha Protocol also had a hub structure, which is pretty much your safe house. Each city you would travel to, you had a new safe house layout to hang out in, make phone calls, complete any upgrades, sell any weapons, or change your clothes. Plan your next mission from these locations and choose how you want to go about them. You'd travel from places like Rome, Moscow, Saudi Arabia, and then go on to missions in those locations. Now, one of the craziest things about this game is that this was actually created by Obsidian Entertainment. Now, I completely forgot about that until I started getting ready for this video. It even came out just a few months before they released Fallout New Vegas, another classic game and one that I've been meaning to replay for many, many years now. Even talking about Alpha Protocol in this video has made me want to do another playthrough of the game. I did replay it within the last two years, and honestly, it felt pretty good even on PC. One of the other cool things about it is it's said to have about 12 hours of cinematic sequences or dialogue outcomes, but technically, a player would only experience about four during a single playthrough. So there's a decent amount of replayability, and obviously, with there being different outcomes, different choices to make for each scenario that you're put in. Looking back, 2009 was such a great year for games. Alpha Protocol was still one of the games that I thought I would play once and move on, but here we are in 2023, still remembering it for its wacky combination of espionage and traditional 
RPG mechanic. I would love to see another game one day, or even a spiritual successor to the game. Or hell, a remake by a third party studio, I'd be fine with that too. I can only imagine what could be done with today's technology and smoothing out combat mechanics. So yeah. Alpha Protocol is a great game and I'll probably never forget it. Let me know if you have any memories of the game in the comments. Give yourself some positive rep with me and tap that like button on the video. Then go ahead and subscribe for more videos like this. That's all. Thanks for watching.